All right, buyers seem to be making their way back into the market. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some things that I'm currently seeing right now, boots on the ground from somebody who's transacting in the market daily. I'm that AJ Kelly, Fraser Valley Realtor. And if you wanna see more content about the Fraser Valley, subscribe to the channel, like this video. And if you wanna chat with me about buying or selling, I have a link in the beginning of my description. So first off, pre-construction prices are going up. For the last half of 2023, selling a pre-construction unit was extremely difficult. There was a whole bunch of projects with inventory just sitting around and collecting dust. And in the last two weeks, I've personally had an unprecedented amount of people reaching out inquiring about pre-sale product. And typically whatever's happening for me is likely what's happening for everybody else who's a realtor who's like me. I was in a sales room the other day in Willoughby looking at some pre-sale condos for a client and the sales team there told me that just in the last week they had moved eight units when they were super, super slow for the last six months. And eight units, by the way, is probably seven to 8% of their project just in one week. And sales are continuing to pick up. Not only that, they just raised their prices. Pre-sale prices are going up. There's just not that many to choose from. There's not that many available. New construction is like near all time lows, at least adjusted for population. Developers can't afford to launch these projects any cheaper than what they're currently at. If prices were any lower, developers will just stop launching projects, will have no pre-construction supply, and the supply that does exist will be able to get the prices they're asking because there's nobody else selling them. Willoughby wood frame pre-sales are expected to hit a thousand bucks a square foot this year. Now, when I talk about a thousand bucks a square foot, I'm mainly just talking about like a 500 square foot one bed is kind of like the, you know, setting the precedent for when I talk about price per square foot, because anything smaller, obviously the price per square foot is going to be higher and not every project has those smaller units. And if I'm talking about two bedrooms, the price per square foot will be lower because typically as the unit gets bigger, you get a better deal on the price per square foot. But as a good gauge, pretty much every project will have a 500 square foot one bedroom. So that's kind of the benchmark when we talk about price per square foot. And they're forecasting that that will hit a thousand bucks this year. And right now it's about 920 bucks. And I believe it because pre-construction is a lot easier to forecast than the resale market. Pre-construction is basically forecasted on building materials and uh, labor, whereas the resale market is more supply and demand. And obviously supply and demand does take a big factor into pre-construction prices. However, because of the costs of, you know, permitting and D DCAs and whatever, all these fees that go into building along with materials and building costs, people will just stop building if the prices go down. So typically once a price is achieved, once we discover a new price in pre-construction, that's where the prices are. Now there are scenarios where pre-sale prices can go lower. However, it would likely take years before developers adjust their prices to reflect that. Because you have to think first, the cost of land has to come down. And it has to come down a lot because the cost of land only makes up I think it's like 30% of the cost of a project. It might even be less than that. So, you know, if land comes down 50%, you're only talking about a 15% discount on current pre-sale prices. But not only that, the land has to come down in value. Then developers have to buy at those new valuations. Then they have to go through all of the permits and blah, 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 blah. blah. And we're talking like two years out. So in the short to midterm, pre-sale prices are going higher. I'm seeing it, you know, firsthand developers are raising their prices 10 grand 20 grand and they're forecasted to be substantially higher at the end of the year now on to resale in the past couple months whatever when a client wanted to view a unit I could pretty much just click on the unit and send that showing request without actually doing any due diligence of the unit because I know that everything was just sitting there available maybe one in ten units would have an accepted offer or be sold or whatever today I have to go through and vet every unit that my client sends me and take a look at it because over 50% of them are sold or have an accepted offer on them. So the market is moving a lot faster now than it was previously. And if you are a buyer in this market, you are likely going to have to have a sense of urgency to get what you want. Not only that, I'm starting to see offer dates make a comeback. And basically what that is, is like, hey, we're gonna list this home for a price that's actually lower than the price that we hope to achieve 
and we're gonna say, hey, you guys can all come see the property for the next week, but you're not allowed to write an offer until Tuesday at three. And that is basically a setup for multiple offers. This was the listing strategy that every realtor was using in 2021 because it was working so, so well. Uh, and then it basically has been used very seldom in the last two years since then. And now I'm starting to see it make a comeback. Now, will those will these offer dates end up working out? That is yet to be seen. But just the fact that realtors are even trying them tells me that realtors are seeing listings moving faster. They're seeing showings increase uh, on their listings and they're obviously getting a lot more buyer reach out to their phones because nobody's gonna pick that listing strategy unless they have some type of data that tells them it's going to be successful. So the market looks good for spring, whether you're a buyer or a seller. I think it's finally gonna be a decent market to transact in for both sides, or at least it's looking like that. And if you have any questions, book that call, subscribe to the channel. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. Peace.